Uh, I'm there now. Yeah. Right, so you want to start from the very beginning again. Uh, if I could sing, I'd sing that song from The Sound of Music, let's start from the very beginning, but I don't think I'll treat them to that. <laughs> no, and I definitely cannot sing. <laughs> <laughs> right, look, we're going to start again. I've no idea what, what YouTube is playing at. It does these sort of things from time to time, just to keep you on your toes, I think. But I'm starting again. OK, so I'm sorry to the people that have heard this now, probably for the third time. Um, all good now, Jen. That's great. Thanks, Shaz. Brilliant. Thanks, Leslie. Yeah. And Janet. Yeah. Great. Deborah. Hilda. Yeah. All right. Right. OK, let's get going. Uh, a little t a little while ago, not that long ago, I received these in the post. Um, I can't tell you how delighted I was to receive them. I mean, it was one of those occasions where you do a happy dance in the kitchen. Um, they are beautiful. The file folders, they're made of card. They came from America from one of um, the uh, the channel's biggest supporters, really, I suppose. Um, so thank you very much to her. Um, and there are a pack of six. Actually, she sent more than six. Uh, she also sent some Art Deco ones as well, which will I'll use those further down the line, but at the moment I can't get past these. Um, so there's six of them. There's this one with the uh, geranium on. This one, I think it's like a panthers. This one, I think it's a busy Lizzie in a rose. And look at the butterflies, beautiful. Uh, this one, the sunflowers one. This one, I'm not sure, it might be some sort of lily, I don't know. And this one with the lilac. And I've decided to use this one today, the lilac one. Not because it's my favourite, because they absolutely all are. It's just I had more to sort of use with it, uh, pick out these tones. So what I want to talk to you about today is really what I've chosen to go with this. Um, and where I've got them from, etc, etc. So inside the, the file folder, it's a fairly neutral, creamy, sort of beigey, uh, neutral tones. Um, so I wanted to pick out the purpley mauvey colours. So what I did was I, um, of course, downloaded some papers. Uh, this time from My Porch Prints. Really, I am one of their best customers. <laughs> and these are the papers that I, the, it's called Shabby Purple, this set. And it's perfect for what we want. Now, I'm fortunate enough that I have an A3 printer, and I, I know that all of you don't have an A3 printer, although you can put put the images on a stick and take them to a print shop or whatever, they'll print them out in A3. My A3 printer is not borderless, so I've had to lose a little border around it, which then makes them uh, slightly, slightly smaller than A3 folded in half. The thing about these file folders is that they actually already have a sort of spine marked in. So there's the one that's folded, then there's another line, another line, and another line. And it's that third line that we want to fold it on. And that, that will give us our spine there. So just be careful and fold the right one. I don't want to spoil this at all and I can't see it very well I can't see it at this end very well at all is that it? yeah that's it I think yeah I think that's it there okay so I'm just going to ease that down just to make sure I've got the right fold yeah there we are okay that's so that's that fold there so that's now going to give us our spine okay like that you can see it 
um, and that measures I think it's about three quarters of an inch all told yeah it's exactly three quarters of an inch that's fine but also it's got these two lines in it that you could also fold if you wanted to but for our purposes we don't want to fold it but I want to use those two lines as the lines to sew our signatures in so this file folder is actually going to have two signatures in it which is incredible so I can't afford to go too mad with the papers that's what I'm saying to you really they need to be quite thin so that's the start that's that's our start these are our papers here and they're going to go in like so so they're just going to be the right size really I mean we've probably got a little bit of width there down here but I'm going to be adding lace and stuff to the sides of some of these so by the time I've added lace this is just perfect it couldn't be more perfect so let's just have a look at the papers see what they what they are um, they're all very very pretty they really are so there's this one and I've kept the sort of plainer I've double printed them uh, it's one piece of paper that I've printed on both sides so there's that one and that's the center of it and the back this one isn't that gorgeous I love it um, and that's the center and of course we can build our pockets and tucks and whatever onto the plainer side uh, keeping the the design side free of embellishments so you can just enjoy the paper and that's the back of that look at that glorious uh, this one more plain you could probably build on that I think probably and the decoration this <laughs> I'm being pushed down <laughs> by Mr Fix its hand can you see his hand <laughs> So actually his hand, I hasten to add, it's, it's a, give us it here, show. It's a telescopic thing. Look at this, right? There you go. And when he needs to attract my attention, he just does that and then points to whatever it is. <laughs> I've got to change. <laughs> Thank you for that. I'm wondering now whether I should fold this the other way, actually. I think I will. So that's on the, on the outside because that's kind of the way I'm going with everything. So keep the um, the most decorated pages on the outside. And that's the inner and that's the back. And look at this one. Look at this. Now then, this brings me round to some of the exciting news I've got to tell you. This is a hydrangea. We, you know, in this country, that's definitely what we call it. Um, fairly prolific. Not a weed, they're, they're cultivated in people's gardens. Um, and yesterday I learned that in South Africa, these are called Christmas roses because that's the time of year that they, they flower. And I learned that from someone who comes from South Africa. And can you guess who? Can you guess who it was that was in my car yesterday telling me about hydrangeas and about all sorts of things? Can you guess who I had lunch with and spent a lovely afternoon with driving around the Lake District? Well, I'll tell you, it's Hilda. <laughs> Our very own Hilda. And she comes from really down south to us, you know, hundreds of miles away. And she came up and she um, spent yesterday with us, with um, Mr Fixit, myself, uh, and Bobby as well, the dog. And we had a lovely lunch sitting outside actually, um, just on the outskirts of the Lake District. And then we went for a drive uh, around the, some of the lakes um, and it was glorious. It was a fabulous day, fabulous. And she brought me all, all manner of gifts. She brought me some beautiful silver bangles, which I can't wear because they crash. Oh, here it comes with a hand again. <laughs> Fickle finger of fate. Um, and I hope Hilda enjoyed it as much as we did. We had a we had a really lovely time. So thank you to Hilda very much. So that's this page. That's the central bit, and that's the back, which I also love. This is a fairly prolific thing with uh, my porch prints. This image comes up virtually all the time in different guises, and I really like it. I've actually used that for a book cover on one occasion. 
Uh, then we've got this one. That's the centre, which I adore. Uh, and that's the back. And this one, probably my favourite of all, actually. And that's the centre. And that's the back. Look at that. So I've decided to make two signatures. Well, obviously, two signatures. And I want that to be the cover of one. And I want the hydrangea, if I can find it, to be the cover of the other one. And then I'm just going to kind of spread these out one for you one for you one for you and one for you so that's our paper sorted out and like i said that will be the two uh covering pages for the signatures if you like they're gorgeous aren't they i'm sure you'll agree they really are does anybody like them matches folder perfectly it does lynn you are right Hilda likes the hand. <laughs> yeah. Oh, dear. Um, we did have a wonderful did. Yes, Don, it was wonderful. And Jen. Um, Flo, you seem to have had a bit of an operation going on, you know, called Joseph. <laughs> oh, dear me. Oh, I've still got your safe paper clip hanging around, Flo. It's just the funniest thing. I can't help myself laughing when I see it. So we need some other pages to put in our books, some other papers. So I went to my books, of which, you know, I've got quite a few. I gather them up where I can when I see them. Mr. Fix-It's generally the one that gets them. Oh, a little bit heavy. So these are the ones that I chose to take pages out of. It's an Edwardian Ladies Flower Album. It costs $1.99. And it's it's beautiful. It's really lovely. And if you remember, last weekend we were talking about the journal that I'm going to make with a, a month per signature. So it's going to be a massive um, journal. And this has actually got the months written on it on the top. May, uh, you know, oh, you know the months. I don't have to tell you the months. But they're written on there. So I wanted to not use too much of this book because I want to use it in my uh, little journal that's uh, about months. Look at it. It's, it's a beautiful book, isn't it? December, November, September. It's lovely. Really nice book. One ninety nine. Come on. Uh, the other book that I, one of the other books was this Bird Life of Britain and Europe. And it's, it's got some lovely plates in it, really, really nice plates. And we actually live just the other side of our garden. Our garden fence really is the boundary, is um, a bird sanctuary. It's massive. It's a massive bird sanctuary. It covers acres and acres and acres of the top of the Pennines. So as a consequence, we are quite fortunate. We get to see lots of birds that uh, aren't common, really aren't that common. Uh, the other day we had a couple of woodpeckers in the garden, which is a joy to see. And we've got geese and their babies and ducks and uh, um, lapwings and curly. We've got all sorts. It's really nice. So uh, I wanted to include some bird life. And then this book, <laughs> look at this book, it's massive. Wildflowers of the World. And it costs the princely sum of 2 99 But look at it. Look, just look. Is that not a fantastic book? So what I did was, uh, I showed you how to do it the last time. Find the centre of the signature, wherever that is there, and you'll see the strings coming up. Snip the strings and then pull your pages out. So then you've got a double, a double spread. So those are the books that I used. Ooh. They're quite heavy. Um, these are the selections that I made. This one, um, May and June. I thought that they'd go quite nicely with our, our journal. And this is the other page that I chose. Um, these are the birds that I chose. Um, and I chose this one because yesterday when we were out and about, we saw a buzzard flying around. Uh, some 
I'm including buzzard, the buzzard in our uh, little journal. And this one I'm including because it's got an osprey on the back and it comes from Scotland where I come from. So uh, that page is going in there. The other thing I've opted to put in is some music, some music sheets. Now this is the same book as I've been using for quite a while um, and it's quite fragile. So we'll take care down the edges of there and I'll show you what to do. This is the size of the paper so you can see the music is is smaller all the way around but that doesn't bother me i'm not i don't want them all to be identical it would be boring so and this one you'll see which is out of that big book i showed you it's actually it's bigger it's bigger all the way around and it's wider so i don't want to cut anything off that i'll fold it in but i will need to cut something off the off the top um, margin and the bottom margin but that's all right I think we can lose that because we have got a margin the other thing that I did was well must fix it coffee stained me some uh, paper and I ran it through an embossing folder folded it in half and ran it through an embossing folder so I've got two of those one for each um, signature and I've also got uh, two ordinary uh, a3 papers coffee stained one in each uh, signature now i've also got this beautiful vellum which hilda gifted me um it's it's tim holt's vellum pack and it's really i need to put it onto something so you can see how nice it is it's beautiful paper actually i've had it a while but i just didn't want to use it <laughs> it's too nice so i'm going to put that into one um, and I'll put it off centre, I think, because I want this whole flower on one page, which will leave just a smaller piece on the other side. That's fine. Um, and the same sort of thing with this. Um, that probably will be about half. But I want all of that flower on one side, and I'd like all of these butterflies on the other. So I'll put it into the signature down there. Okay, is that everything that's going in there? Yeah, I think so. Yeah, that's all the papers. So then the next thing that I wanted to sort out was <coughs> lace, etc. that's going in. So I needed really, <coughs> excuse me, I've got a frog in my throat. I really needed to sort out sort of complementary colour, colour that I can't make everything purple because it won't sing, it won't pop. So I needed to decide, was I going to make it sort of cream or yellow? Yellow and purple go very well together. But I didn't think it yellow was quite a shabby colour. Yellow is quite a vibrant colour. So I've gone for white. <clears throat> and one of the things that Hilda gifted me yesterday was this beautiful lace. I mean, it's absolutely stunning. Look at this one. It's just gorgeous. Really, really gorgeous. And there's this one, which is just a sort of winter white. It's lovely. Um, and this one, great for edging. And this one, which is beautiful. So I'm going to use those. <coughs> I've also got some white uh, pre-made bows, little uh, bows, so ribbon bows. I've also got some purple ones of those. I'm going to do all my sewing around think I'm organised today. It's just dawned on me. <laughs> After running around all morning trying to sort everything out, I'm, I appear quite organised. <laughs> uh, which if you'd seen me half an hour ago, you'd, you'd just be amazed. <laughs> so I'm going to use, this is the thread that I use. And for those of you in the UK, it's called Coates Moon 120. It's your commoner garden sewing thread. It's about 120 a a reel like that so it's not dear at all and I've got some dried flowers you may remember we dried them and included them um, in something else so I've got some of these that I want to include um, in, our, in our journal see Hilda's been collecting flowers and she's doing really well with them um, but any that's got a sort of purpley hue like that one uh, these ones here uh, I want to include really and that one's blue but it's really nice and I've got I've, I've got several I've got enough I think there 
um, without sending Mr. Fix It off round the lanes and byways to find more. I think we'll do with that. Um, so they are ready. I've got um, my little stencil for um, marking on the back, of, you know, going through and colouring the back of tags, etc. I've also got this, which is where I've obviously put it through the Sizzix and I'm left with this, which is a brilliant stencil. And this is where I get my card from, Paper Mill Direct. And I noticed on the group today, Pat's fleet said that she'd uh, ordered the big box. They really are big. Pat said she couldn't lift it up, and I'm not surprised. And it's rammed with all their offcuts. And you'd think that that would just be sort of one inch strips and whatever. But it's not, not at all. Um, here's some of their offcuts that I've got here that I'll be using throughout. I'll just show you what I've got um, the, this one here is pearlized it's beautiful I've chopped some up for die cuts um, then this one and these and then the, you know this there's a whole raft of this which is virtually a full size piece I think so I don't know what constitutes off cuts but we've never been disappointed with what we've had and they're not expensive what I would say is if you're ordering two boxes, order one and then maybe a month later, order the other one because you'll get the same off cuts because they're cutting obviously the same thing at, the ta at that time. So order one box, then leave it for a while till they're cutting something different and then you'll get uh, different colours, etc. Um, but these are, I, we had a sample pack from them. Um, and so I've used all the samples to cut things out <laughs> and I'm left with some fantastic stencils because they're, this is 300 GSM, so it's thick. Somebody new, Gonny from the Netherlands. Really? Hello? I'm not seeing it. Uh, it's up. Joseph failed microwaving flowers, sadly. And he's back to paper towels and big books. Well, they work quite well, perfectly. Just takes a little longer. Yeah, just so it's longer, but they, you know, works great. Let's go from that. There's yeah, I've got Gunny. Hi, 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 hi. Welcome. I won't attempt to pronounce a name. Um, no, <laughs> we'll call you Gunny. <laughs> nice to have you with us. I hope you enjoy it. I hope you uh, pop over to our Facebook group, which is Miss Paints a Lot's Junk Journal group, and join join up with us there. We show each other what we're up to, what we're doing. And it's a, just a good place to be. Uh, so these are my die cuts. So I've got quite a lot in white uh, and then various shades of purple and some are pearlescent. And uh, so I've got quite a selection there. And I've also cut out some uh, flowers. When I say me, I mean Mr. F. Uh, cut out some nice flowers and they're really sparkly. Uh, Leslie M. Um... It says, is the paper for the centre two standard size sheets put together or one large piece folded? It's actually one large piece folded. It's a sheet of A3 folded. Um, it's all, all of the papers that I've showed you are A3 folded in half to give A4. Okay. Um, I've also cut out some butterflies. Look at these, Jen. They sparkle. Um... So I've got some little uh, embellishments there. This one's made of pearlescent paper. It's just beautiful. Uh, so what else? Oh, yeah, I've also got some ribbons to the ready. And you know I'm having a bit of a craze with organza. So I've got an organza purple, quite narrow, and a lilac-y sort of organza one. It's a bit more broad. Some purple satin ribbon. And for the, this project, I'm using the Tim Holtz Distress Ink in Shaded Lilac. And I've only got a little one because I can't imagine I'd ever use too much of this, but that's what we're using. Uh, let me just pick this up off the floor before I roll my chair over it and break it. I have also um, printed out a couple of sheets from Janie B Journals. Um, on Etsy 
She's got lots and lots of um, paper sets and they're all very reasonably priced. They really are. I've printed this out in case I wanted to use things for pockets and what have you. You can see I double double printed it and I actually printed out the um, my porch prints copyright notice, <laughs> which I didn't mean to. But if we're just using, um, you know, this side for pockets and stuff, it doesn't really matter what's on the on the other side. This, this is another page from Janie B Journals and it's lovely. I, I like that. And I think we can use that. And that's the back of it with this lovely fern. I love that. So they are there for cutting up purposes. Uh, and that's, I think we're about there. I think I've shown you all, uh, all I've got. This um, came from um, another kit. It's a My Porch Prints kit. I think it was called a folio kit or something like that. And I printed it twice when I when I did it, only made it once. So I've still I still had this left. And I've once again I've printed that double sided, so that's kind of the back. Um and this it's like that. And that's beautiful as well. So I'm gonna have a real problem when I come to sticking this in, <laughs> covering that up because it's really, really lovely. So right, there we go, guys. The other thing I've got out is my bag of purple ribbon, which I don't have a lot of. Not much at all, really. Um, but, you know, we'll be all right. We're not short of anything, I don't think. So who's got what to say? Jen loves the butterflies, especially the sparkly ones, I bet, Jen. <laughs> Great shades of purple. I think I read that book, Fifty Shades of Purple. <laughs> Do you know that Fifty Shades of Grey, I started that book with, with great hopes for it. I thought, you know, everybody was chatting about it. I thought it'd be quite good. I couldn't even get through the first book. I thought it was boring. I, was, I didn't like it at all. When I grow old, I shall wear purple. It's funny you say that, Kerry. We were just talking about that yesterday. Um, to dry in the microwave, get a dinner plate. Yeah. Sheet of kitchen towel. Then the flowers. Another sheet of paper, another dinner plate. Yeah. And add more weight to the top for the thicker plants. Yeah. And then after you've done that for two minutes, get it out of the microwave. Quickly take the plate and the top layer off. So it will evaporate any moisture that's still there. Leave it to cool a little bit. Stick it back in the microwave for 30 seconds, not covered at all. And then there you go. Job's good. And it's done. And the last leave to cool before you peel them off yeah definitely leave them to cool before you peel them off otherwise they sort of attach themselves to the kitchen towel and they break because they're very fragile so leave them to cool and you'll have more of a chance yeah this is the other thing i meant to show you this gorgeous paper pad from the works and i think for what we're doing um today and tomorrow it's just perfect i've shown you this before it's fantastic i love this pad look at it Look at the pit. Oh, look at it. It's just, it's perfect, isn't it, guys? I love that page. It's my favourite. So, right, let's get cracking with the packing then. So what I need to do is cut all my pages to the right size or fold them up or do whatever it is I'm going to do to make them fit in my journal. So I'm going to take my size from, from these pages. So I'll use the any one, they're all the same. I'll use this one and I'm, I'll use, I'll come first to the two sheets of coffee stained paper. Please stay there. I've got so much stuff on my desk, it's ridiculous. Um, so let's just make sure that they're both the same way, like that. Just pop this on top. Right, it's not worth my while folding in stuff, um, you know, folding in the bottom of the whatever. I'm just going to cut it off so it's going to be the same size as this. I think that's the way forward with that. So just use my quilting ruler. Now, for those of you that are new, that haven't uh, joined me before, you'll wonder what on earth I'm doing with a quilting ruler. But... We find it by far the most accurate way of getting straight lines because you can line it up along there 
and if you know if you're cutting a card or whatever you can line it up along a line up here and so what you what you cut is bound to be straight which for me is great because I haven't got a straight eye in my head when I come to cutting things out like journaling tags and whatever it's just I'm, I'm hopeless at it hopeless with scissors I should never be let loose with them really so let's just get that right and we'll cut down here using another quilting ruler so what are you all doing what are you working on thank you very much to everyone who's sent in a page for the collaborative journal um i received hilda's yesterday in person no less um, and this morning i have received mabel's so thank you very much for that mabel safely tucked in the drawer um they've got to be to me by the 14th of of august so getting near to near the knuckle yeah i mean i do realize that the post is a little bit slower than it normally is so there is a bit of leeway on that but at some stage i've actually got to start making them into a journal so get them to me as soon as you can please um and for those of you that haven't got a clue what i'm talking about let me tell you over on our uh, facebook page uh group should i say the miss paint a lot junk journal group <gasps> i always have to say that carefully because i just i just can't remember it um we're having a uh, we're making a collaborative journal from you know the members of the group that want to join in and it's by no means mandatory uh, you know nothing on our group is mandatory do what you want to do pretty much apart from being nice being nice is mandatory yeah be kind that's what I, all i ask you be kind um but the members that want to join in are sending me in a piece of uh, a4 folded in half have we got a piece of a4 somewhere we must have it's ridiculous I haven't got a piece of A4 to my name. You must have. I must have. <laughs> <laughs> there, look, there's a yellow piece there. That'll do nicely. Perfect. Right, so here's a piece of A4. And what I want you to do is fold it in half, like so. So you've got one page here, one page there, one page there, and one page on the back. Okay? So four sides, if you like. And I want you to decorate that in whatever style is your style. Um, just something that pleases you. The only stipulation is it has to be birds and butterflies, just birds, just butterflies, whatever. But it has to be a combination of that somehow. Uh, or, you know, just birds, just butterflies. Try and keep it fairly flat if you can, because the journal is going to end up gigantic <laughs> um, and send it to me you'll find my address on the rack list in our group facebook group if you can't find me or you're not a member of the group just message me and i'll uh, pass on my address to you um, if you're in the states or australia or somewhere international and the postage is prohibitive and i realize it's really expensive and you want to just take a photograph of it do that message it to me and we'll print it out and we'll include it in the journal just the same. Um, we've had one digital submission and it's excellent. Uh, and the other good thing about it is it's flat. <laughs> um, if you know, if you're in this country and you're shielding or you don't want to go out to the post office, so you can't um, consider doing that. It's a, it's a way forward for you. And it's a way that we can get your page, which is lovely. Then when one I've made up the journal in its entirety, Every single person who has contributed to the journal, including myself, including Mr. F, all the names will go into the <laughs> unpredictable Siri hat uh, and see what she pulls out. And whoever's name that is, they will get to keep that journal for life. And what a glorious thing to own, isn't it, really, when you think about it? So that's that. Where were we? Chopping paper up. It's kind of what we do we chop paper up so i'm just going to cut this um embossed one down to size as well just make sure that's straight you can do these individually and you you know it might be better but i 
trying to get somewhere to do. There we are. Jen says, oh no, not Siri, can we do old fish fashion slips in a hat? We could. The only thing is that you'd have to trust us that we've put everybody's name in. And I mean, we're not shysters, you know what I mean? We, we, <laughs> if we say we've done it, we've done it. But I like to put everybody's name down. Then I like to show you that I have put everybody's name down. And then everybody knows it's fair. Because can you imagine, for example, if I was to win it out of a hat? Well, you'd think I'd fixed it. I mean, you might not, but you might. <laughs> and, I, <laughs> and I wouldn't like that if you, if you thought I'd fixed it. <laughs> I mean, the way that Siri goes on. <laughs> oh, no. You'd think we fixed it anyway. Siri's not our friend. <laughs> Last time we were asking her for a random number between 1 and 30 inclusive. And she kept saying 31. Then after she got over that, she said 19 about three times. Oh, I don't know. That song from the 80s or whatever it was. 19. 19? Yeah. Oh, was there a song called 19? Yeah, 19. Oh. No, 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 19. Oh, yeah, yeah, I remember now. Yeah. About the Vietnam War, I think. Oh, uh, yeah. The, the average yeah. age. That's the, right, the yeah. In that war, Vietnam War. Blimey. There's a blast from the past. I didn't even know you knew that. It's amazing. <laughs> right, so this is the bird book. So I'm going to have to trim a little bit off somewhere because it's just a bit too tall. I mean, if it's successful, of course, we may consider doing another one. Yeah, we may. We may consider it. Let me just get this one sewn up first because it's going to be a mighty task, I can tell you. So there's not much to come off here, actually. I thought there was a bit more than that. Not much at all. Leslie M says she was number 19. Oh, were you 19, Les Leslie? And you won. Has it arrived yet? I guess it hasn't, or you'd have told me. So there we are. And there's just a little bit down the edge here. Um, I could fold that over, but it's it's just a margin. It's just a page margin, so I don't think there's much to be gained by hanging on to that, really. So we'll just chop it off. And Jen says maybe a digi journal next time. Jen, do you know what? You've read our minds. You've absolutely read our minds. That was what we were thinking of doing, wasn't it? It was. Because for those of you that are sort of new or whatever, Mr. Fix-It does do YouTubes as well, but on our channel. But kind of usually the more techy sort of stuff, stuff I don't really understand. Um, and this week, was it this week? I think it was. Yeah. Because uh, <laughs> <laughs> it was only last weekend we did, did the giveaway. Was it? And they went out on Monday. Was that just a week ago? That was just a week oh, ago. Oh, my life. And they went out on Monday. So. Oh, my life without a wife. Anyway, um, yeah, through the week then, obviously, Mr. Fix It, excuse me, did a YouTube live on using Word, you know, Microsoft Word, uh, to mess around with pictures. I'll put it that way. It was really much more glorified than that. And actually, the group has taken to it like a duck to water. And some of the images that you're producing, it's just amazing, actually, really amazing. It is one of those things that once you start doing it, you can lose hours. I'll just say that. Um, so be aware of that. But it's a really nice thing to do, and you can come up with, you know, you can make your own papers. You don't need to live on Etsy anymore. You need to live on Word. <laughs> right, so let's just have a look at this and see where we are. Right, so if I took a little bit off the top and a little bit off the bottom, we'd be there. <laughs> Actually, that reminds me of a story. 
When I was a when I was a kid, we we lived very rurally, as I do now, and we kind of didn't go to the shop shops very often at all. I don't I don't really understand it, but we didn't. Um, and for our shoes, myself and my sister, well, and my mum and dad, the the shoemaker, the cobbler, used to come round and fit our feet for for our school shoes and whatever sandals for the summer, etc. And he turned up this day and he had this pair of shoes that I absolutely adored. They were really sort of fashionable and I was never allowed fashionable shoes. It was always kind of practical, which, you know, now I see why. But at the time I wanted these fashionable shoes. So I tried them on <laughs> and my mum says, do they fit? And I, I said, they fit perfectly. If you just got a bit off the back and a bit off the front, they'd be Oh dear, I didn't get them because obviously they were too big. <laughs> oh dear, just rem just reminded myself of that. Oh, you had such jolly japes in Victorian times, didn't you? Do you know it was quite Victorian? Our, our upbringing was quite Victorian. My my, my family were quite religious, and um, yeah, I. I and quite staid values, quite, you know, there wasn't much fun to be had in our house. Doer Scots. Very doer, yeah. My dad was a church elder um, and, yeah, it was just, it was quite, oh, bugger. Excuse my language. Did I cut that? Yeah, I've cut it. What are you going on about that? <laughs> What's your problem? So I need to get that to the top. I'm hoping these are going to be all right. I'm having such a nice time laughing with you all. <laughs> oh dear, let's hope they're all right, eh? There we go. Is everybody all right? Kerry says you're making up for it now. <laughs> yeah, all the fun that I have now. I, I don't know, maybe that's why. And Jen says, you're making, Jen says you're making up for it now. Put on those big shoes on and dance. <laughs> and a purple hat. <laughs> when you get old, you need to wear purple hats. And nobody can say anything to you because you're old and you don't care. I'm quite sure also that is why I'm overweight, because as kids we weren't allowed sweet stuff. <laughs> so now I eat loads of this. Anyway, look, let's get back to this junk journal and leave my childhood out of it because it's boring. So look, I've got this excess here, but I don't just want to fold. I don't want to fold it um, this way because then I'm going to get this text here and I want to be able to see as much of this as I, as I can. I don't want to fold it just exactly on that line because I'm just going to get, have that little bit folded over and I, I want more. I want to make a pocket, side sort of pocket out of it. So I'm going to fold it down to there. And it's an arbitrary amount. Do what fits in with your page. Um, but this is going to be narrower than my other pages. Here's my regular page. So it's this much narrower. And I like that. You know, it gives a bit of interest uh, to the journal. So that's what you'll see of it. And this one, I want to see more of this and less of this. So I'm going to fold it the other way. And you can fold it the exact same amount. You can fold it less. You can fold it more. It doesn't matter. You won't see the two together because they're not going to be in the center. So fold it where uh, where you're happy folding it. When you're sure that it's square along the bottom, then just crease it in. So that's that. So that's what you'll see when you're going through the, fold, the journal. Then we'll come to that and I'll probably sew that uh, top and bottom probably down the side as well. I could even put some lace if I wanted to. Uh, or I could leave it so as you can open it 
you know, there's plenty of choices. But if I sew that down, then I've got this as a as a nice pocket. And from my porch prints, the ephemera kit. Well, there's no end of ephemera that you get with it. It's a massive kit. But, you know, there's some really nice things that we could pop in there um, into a pocket. Like that, for example, this. So that would fill that pocket in really nicely with not too much work at all. Be nice. Got a question. Jen, so you're cutting each page. Will there be any walking? when you put your signatures together. Ah, uh, yeah, walking. Well, there might be, but there's not going to be a whole lot of pages, to be honest. There's going to be um, three design pages, one bird, one music, one embossed piece. There won't be that many. So, that yeah, they might walk. They will walk, they're bound to. But there will be... Um, I mean, if they walk badly, I'll chop them again. This one is well out of the way, so I'm not going to chop the side off there. That will be tucked right back. But I'm going to put lace on, etc. Um, and I don't know if you saw the journal that I made through the week. I put a, a video of it up on YouTube. I didn't chop those. I let them walk. And I put lace on. And actually, it looked quite nice with the lace being not all straight. So it's it's up to you. We'll see when we put them together at how much you know, quite how much walking we've got, and if it looks too bad, then we'll chop. So this I'm going to fold in again. That's a nice square there. That's probably better. Um, and this one, fold it over that way. So I'm not fussed if this is the same each side. Like I say, you won't see them both together anyway. So that's that one. Now then, this one, let's take our piece of paper and see. Uh, Sammy and Kerry would like to know what you mean by walking. Well, the thing is, when you put all your pages together, um, I'll just put some together and you'll see what I mean. Oh, that's not good ones. I'll just use the design paper. So you just put them all, all in together like this. I'm not having this many, but I'm putting them all in so as you'll see what uh, we're talking about. So you put them all in and you'd think they'd all stay straight. But when you do that... They walk, they come out from the centre. Now, a lot of that is taken away when you sew it, because when you sew it, you pull them in really tight. So you don't, it's not actually as bad as that when you, after you've sewn it, but you do get that. Can you see? This is the edge of this paper here. Basically, the ones on the outside have further to go. Yeah, I mean, they, they have to go around the other ones, so, they, so that's where it goes. And um, you can just use this one, the outside, whichever's your outside one, and just slice down there and you'll get them all s square. That's what we mean by walking. Um, I'm hoping mine won't walk that far because it hasn't got that much in it. So this one, let's have a look. This is much narrower and, I, you know, I like that. It's really interesting. But once again, we're going to have to fold that. And because of what Jen's just said about the walking and because I don't want everything to finish at the same place, I'm going to fold it in from the edge a little bit. Uh, the question is, which way am I going to fold it? Uh, I'm going to fold it this way. Just down there. So that will add a bit of interest, something different going on on the page. Made a pig's ear of that. There we are. This is a shiny page, and I know last time you were asking me, oh, you know, is that shiny? Um, yep, yeah, it is shiny, but I don't mind. It is what it is. Um, and they aren't the same. They're not the same width. But that's fine because as you as you go through the journal, I'll have something in the middle here. Yeah. 
so you won't see that page and this page at the same time and go mm -mm, they're not the same so that's that one uh, and there's this one as well to do I think this page is nicer than this one so I'll fold that in if you get it square along the bottom it's bound to be square Oh, I'm folding this this way. I love those pansies. And these are nice. These sort of um, pages, really nice. If you've done a little envelope or something and you want to just tuck the flap into there, that sort of thing. Or even, a, you know, a card, a journaling card. Imagine if you'd done it out of text. I've, I've got a book here. Um, it's called A Country Herbal. And it's a lot of it is text and these black and white images and i really fancy using um, this book to make my envelopes and my uh, tags from my journaling tags it has got plates in as well but I, I love the text and of course it's pertinent to us because it's all about plants so that's my plan with that oh i didn't show you this either um this here this fabric I have yards of this. I went to a curtain, um, you know, a curtain fabric shop that I knew was in, inexpensive on the cheap side of life because I wanted some fabric um, for a journal cover. And they did have what I wanted, but <clears throat> as well as that, they had this fabric. Now, those of you that know me will know I love stripes. I really do. I love ticking and I love stripes. And they had this with these lovely little embroideries on, little flower embroideries. And it was 50 pence a metre. I really had to do a double take. I had to ask the lady, is that really 50 pence a metre? She said, oh yeah, you know, she said it was much more than that, but we just want rid of it. So I said, okay, <laughs> I'll have four metres, thank you. So I now have four metres of this. And I mean, it's just, it's going to be lovely with our with our pages I think don't you come out of there thank you um so yeah I've got that as well and I think if you have a look around your house honestly I know that I'm exceptional in the amount of stuff that I have but I think if you have a look you'll find that you've got more than you thought you had for any given color so this is the um vellum and I want to fold that I think this one I want to fold in half because then I'll get the flowers on one side and I'll get the butterflies on the other yeah okay so let's fold that in half and that can go in one signature and tomorrow we'll crack on with this and really get I'm not going to do anything to this um, journal that's not live so you'll see me make the whole thing <clears throat> as you've seen me select the papers etc etc you'll see me make the entire thing from start to finish um and i won't you know i won't leave it in the in the lurch undone um we'll get it finished i don't know how long it's going to take us it doesn't really matter does it you know so I just want that the same height as uh, our other paper. So I'm just going to slice that off along the top. So that's fine. That can go in one signature. It's beautiful at Tim Holtz vellum. It's gorgeous. Um, that was a gift from Hilda. And this one I want to fold not quite in the middle because I want these flowers all on one page. So I'm going to fold it about there. I don't think that you're learning anything today from me. So I'm sorry about that. But this is how you put a journal together. So that's that. Let's just line that up along there. Chop it off. Then we can put our signatures actually together. Let's 
square that up along there. There we go. Right. I think that's all the papers that we've got to, to cut. So let's see how we're going to assemble this then. Blimey, there's papers everywhere. Right. So I think those three are the ones that go together. One, two, and these three. Right. I mean, they were just arbitrarily put together. That's going to be the outside. And then I've got these two inside. Okay. This is going to be the outside. And I've got these two inside. Okay. So what I want then is I want my wildflowers somewhere. Um, they're really, really, really pretty. Well, I'll put them, I'll just put them here. Put them there. Um, and then we'll see as we go along. If we don't like it, we can shuffle things around, can't we? So that can go in there. And then we've got, we've got our birds. Well, let's just miss one and put the birds in here. And same thing here, miss one. birds in I hope I'm kind of making sense to you here <laughs> now that would be quite a nice central page actually it's really pretty I might put that in the center I'll put it in the center for now it might not work out that it you know that it looks nice but we'll see yeah, I might I might move it, but we'll see. So I've got my vellum. So I don't quite know where that's going to go. Um, might be quite nice against there. Would you see that through there? It's all a question of auditioning things. Or I call it auditioning, where you put things together and see if it works. I think you can see that quite well through there. Probably better. Mm, no, you can see it better on the purple. So I'll try it on there. Mm -mm, too, too purple's too busy. What about this one? Yeah, that might be. That might do the job. Yeah. Yeah, I can see more of it there. That's nice. Okay. So let's see my other piece of vellum. You see why my desk's always a mess, can't you? I mean, it's just, it's just ridiculous. I'll try that there and see what that looks like. That looks nice. Looks nice to me. I like that. It's got such a gorgeous feel, this film. Right, so we've got our pa um, music paper. I wonder about putting that there. Because um, this is quite a busy sheet, really. So yeah, I'll put that in there and I'll put it in the same position in this one. Just have to be careful with this at the moment because it's quite fragile stuff. It's quite old. And our embossed sheets. Yeah, you might be right, Jen. These might walk. There's rather more than I thought. There's rather more than I thought we had. Um, right, if I put that, the other side of that, it's going to show up beautifully. So I'm going to put that in there. And then I'll get to see that in all its glory. Yep. And this one. Similarly. 
actually to be honest I folded that vellum the wrong way I need to fold it back the other way so that's going to go there I just need to fold this vellum the other way around As you see the um, the pattern. That's all right. Now I've got the butterflies here. That's okay because you can see them and they look lovely. And then on the back, look at that. You can see and. Um, that lovely pattern through the embossed yeah I like that that's nice let's do the same to the one in here that's also kind of upside down -y. got a nice group of papers here haven't we really I think yeah I'm just going to do the same to this once vellum's been folded it's kind of awkward to get it to change its mind about life but I think we'll be fine. There we go. So that's going to go into there. And then when it's... Oh, look at that. Wow. Isn't that beautiful? Yes, it is. <laughs> so now the only things that are remaining are our two sheets of coffee stained paper. Just to reiterate, it's A3 paper... Um, it's got a bit of a pattern on it. It's A3 paper that is now folded in half. So we've got A4 and it's chopped down a little bit, but not much. So I want to sort of keep it away from the embossed paper if I can, because it's all very similar. Uh, that's the centre spread, so I don't want it in there either. So possibly just inside those wildflowers is where it's going to go, I think. Itchy nose. Don't fall. So just inside the wildflowers. Was it just inside? Yeah. So that goes there. Right, so let's just get these together and see what we think. Just at this odd angle because I'm stopping this other one from falling down. Right. Okay, so here's the first signature. Let's just spread them. Um, it just needs tidying up a little bit. But yeah, it is walking. You're quite right, Jen. It's walking. And it might be walking so far that it's... Um, I'm not happy with it. It's just a bit too too much so that's our beautiful opening to the signature then get away um that the wildflowers that fold out at the moment this which will be a sort of carrier page for something really pretty the music which we need to just put a collage or something down here just to strengthen it uh the design pa paper that's not going to have anything on it i like that uh, next one is the birdies that looks nice and this again it's going to be a carrier for something you know we'll put pockets and nice things on there um, then the vellum which just speaks for itself this which can support a bit of pattern I think a bit of something it's really nice that I, I, I like that a lot um, design paper so nothing's happening to that and then in the middle we've got this. I'm I'm not I'm not altogether loving that, I don't think. I don't think that needs to be our middle. Maybe if I folded that the other way it would look better. Hmm. I don't know. Maybe that's better that way. I 
I don't know, I need to give that some thought, I think. So that's that's one signature. Here's the other. That's just so beautiful. You, I couldn't contemplate putting anything on that. It's really nice. And it opens to this really bright, lovely wildflower page, which I, which I love. Really love that. Um, that, yeah, you could get away with putting something on there, definitely. Um, and this, as I say, I think I'll make it a pocket and put something interesting in there. Maybe an envelope that f the flap comes out and a safety paper clip in it. This, of course, is going to be decorated to the to the hilt. The music page. That looks okay there, I think. Um, you know, with the music page, we've done this before with music pages. We've decoupaged something over them. And I've, I've got a couple of um, napkins here that are really lovely. Um, I think it was Anne that sent them to me. It could have been Pat. I'm so sorry. So sorry, guys. Um, the little fairy, fairy garden. Um, and I'm just wondering if they would look quite nice, a little bit of that decoupaged onto there, maybe, or or something, you know, something purpley, perhaps. Um, we have the ability to print our own decoupage. Now, for those of you that are new to watching us, um, you don't know what I'm talking about, but if we print onto tissue paper, and somewhere back in YouTube you'll see, uh, how to make your own decoupage, print it onto onto tissue. And this might be a case where we print something off onto tissue and decoupage it onto here, just to brighten up this music page. But because more than that, I love it when you can see the music shining through the decoupage. I love that. So I'll have a look for something suitable uh, for that. Flo's had her operation reversed. Oh, blimey, Flo. Hope you're feeling all right. <laughs> <laughs> She's back to feeling herself. <laughs> Good for you. Um, yeah, I'll show you. I'll show you tomorrow, Jen, about doing that. It is just literally a, a sort of bits of torn paper with a straight edge. Just it's it just wouldn't hold up otherwise. Uh, design paper. I'm not doing anything to that. Uh, yes to that. That that it's beautiful, but it can carry something. Uh, the birds, they don't need anything, of course. Then there's beautiful vellum, which you know, I'm not touching at all. I adore it as it is. Uh, this, yeah, well, we'll see. I might leave that to last and see if it needs anything or not. Uh, no, definitely not. And then we're back to the same problem about what we're going to put in the middle. Um, so what do you guys think? What do you think we should put in the middle in the centre spread? I mean, maybe we could turn one one of the design sheets that way round so that would be the center spread that would be quite nice wouldn't it you wouldn't feel let down if you got to the center and that was what it was yeah okay let's do that so we'll put that there and we'll make this this has been folded over several times now so that's now the center spread and i feel happier about that it's nicer okay so that's that and yeah it, you know it is it's walking so we need to um cut that off just make sure that you've got it as tight as you can before you go chopping anything all our folded pages are well back from here so we're not going to catch them and just take your ruler and in my case my rotary cutter just check yeah that's the outside one there so I'm just going to slice down there we did try this with a guillotine once it ended up almost in tears <laughs> didn't work so I'm just going to do what I normally do which is use my rotary cutter and my quilting ruler you have to go down a few times to get all the pages off and that's it I'll do the same to the other one as well so there we are it's lovely and square it's ready for us to start tomorrow I'll look for some decoupage suitable decoupage and stuff and see if we can 
print some out on some tissue paper. Um, the center of this one needed sorting as well, didn't it? You can see how it's walked. Uh, so where's the center here? So what's on the other side of this one? Oh yeah, that's quite a nice center, isn't it? The, the alternative that we have is the other purple page. Ah, that might be quite nice as a center. Yeah, definitely. Definitely, definitely I've lost my other purple page now. Is it still in the center? Yeah. <laughs> right, that's going there. That's going there, that's going there, but it's been folded the other way, like that. So that's now our centre spread. Look at that. That's perfect. I'm happy with that. That's great. Let me Jen giggling again because she just said centre spread again. She keeps giggling every time you say centre spread. Does she? Yeah. Is it rude? Is it something rude? Am I saying something rude? No. 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 Is, is it just Jen? In, in gentlemen's magazines, shall we say, <laughs> there's always a lady in the middle that is the centre spread. Uh, uh, and she's uh, over uh, the two pages. All right, OK. <laughs> is my understanding of it. Yeah, being in the RAF, of course, you'd never have come across such things. No. No. <laughs> <laughs> I grew up thinking ladies had staples in the middle. Oh dear, I could do with a couple of staples in the middle of me. Um, anyway, sorry Jen if I'm causing you offence. <laughs> oh, that's funny now though. Uh, right, so look, have we got everything sorted here? We're not going to cut anything off that's critical for this lady in the centre spread. No, we're all right. So, right, let's get that down as far as we can leveled up, evened up. There we go, and we'll chop this side off again. Where's my ruler gone? Oh, here. Right. I always feel like I have to sort of hold my breath at this point because I feel it could go horribly wrong. Oh well. Here goes. Right. So the, this is going to be our journal cover. These are going to be our signatures. You see they fit now perfectly, but that's because we haven't got anything in them. Um, and they just, just fit into there. Blimey, that's tight. By the time I get lace on there, it's going to be spilling out of here so it's going to look gorgeous i think so that's it guys that's pretty much we've taken some paper and a file folder and we've now knocked it into shape as a kind of journal uh you know early days journal as, as it is at the moment so it's looking good though don't you think do you, do you like it tell me tell me if you like it or not i love these file folders so who's got to say what? I think that's a great tip to Jen. Every time Fiona says centre spread, I giggle. <laughs> I didn't even think of that. Um, it's just me. You're welcome to be just you, Jen. You're lovely. Um, <laughs> you did very well with them. <laughs> yeah, thanks, Lynn. I thought you did well as well. <laughs> Uh, okay, so that's kind of it for the day because we've reached a sort of conclusion to this putting it together business. I will work on it as, as I always do with the, at the weekend. Nancy, hello. Thank you. Janet likes it. Shea-Marie likes it. Head's nodding. Jen's head's nodding sagely. Mm. 
Um, <laughs> Connie likes it. Karen, Leslie and Carrie. Great. Right, so I'll see you tomorrow at two o'clock, same time as this as was today. Hopefully we'll get rid of all the glitches and everything else. And you'll see what I've done through the night, as if by magic. <laughs> the journal fairies will be out. And whatever I've done to one, we'll do to the other signature tomorrow. And then we'll leave it. Leave it as is until the next live. And we'll complete this entire journal live. Because I haven't done that for some time. So, thanks guys for joining me. Thank you, Hilda, for a lovely day yesterday. It was, it was fabulous. It was just fabulous. Um, and to everybody else for joining me, I really hope to see you again tomorrow. Hope in the interim you can kind of gather some supplies together, whatever it is you need. And, you know, even if you're making one that's half the size, the same principles apply. So I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you so much. Bye-bye.